G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Sean and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to share with you my experience of upgrading the hard drives in my NAS. So I've been running a Synology DS416J now for a few years with a pair of 4 terabyte uh, Seagate NAS hard drives and it's just gotten to the point now where I need to add a bit more storage. I've had a really good experience so far with the Seagate hard drives that I purchased. They're just the standard NAS series hard drives. I decided this time though to actually step it up a little bit and I picked up two of the 4TB IronWolf Pro hard drives and I'm going to combine that with the drives that I've already got to go from RAID 1 to RAID 10. So the IronWolf Pro 4TB hard drives that I picked up picked up from JW Computers in Sydney and they're around about 160 Australian dollars each which is actually fairly similar to what I picked up the existing 4 terabyte hard drives a few years ago but this time we're getting a slightly uh, better hard drive um, with better warranty from Seagate. So the plan was to go from RAID 1 to RAID 10 but I found out the hard way that you can't do this simply in the software without having to format the existing data that's already there. So I backed up all of my existing data onto some external hard drives that I had laying around. Once I had done that, then I actually needed to reset or reformat the hard drives um, in order to create a RAID 10 volume. It took me roughly about three or four days to actually move all of that data off onto external hard drives and then another possibly two to three days to move all that data back. So if you are going to go from RAID 1 to RAID 10 or any other RAID um, variant, then I would recommend playing in advance, backing up all of your data to your external drives um, to avoid the downtime. For me, it wasn't a problem, but if you're running a NAS as part of your business, or something that you rely on 24 seven, then I would definitely recommend planning in advance. The reason we decided to go from RAID 1 to RAID 10 is RAID 10 gives us uh, essentially double the performance of a RAID 1 configuration, um, but it also provides that same RAID 1 backup system. So in our current NAS setup, we can actually have up to two of the hard drives fail um, without affecting our downtime at all. So you basically are just mirroring your RAID 1 and expanding it to a RAID 10. So RAID 1 is for mirroring or backing up, RAID 0 is for performance, so 1 plus 0 is 10. So that's why we decided to go that. You get the backup um, that RAID 1 uh, provides plus the performance that RAID 0 provides. So the DS4 and 6J has a dual core processor and hopefully that will keep us going for a few more years. Um, I would eventually like to upgrade to maybe a model above which includes a quad-core processor for better, better video transcoding um, and editing off the NAS, but hopefully this will keep us going for a few more years. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it informative and helpful. It may have answered some of the questions you already had about upgrading the hard drives in your NAS. If you did like this video, then leave me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. If you did want to purchase some of these Seagate hard drives, I'll leave the Amazon affiliate links for that as well down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.